Hey everyone, Sheldon here, and welcome to this video. So, this video is a little bit different than what I usually do. Basically, a couple weeks ago I was going through a box, and I found a few of my very first paper creations. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to film a video on this because you have to start somewhere with everything, really. And, you know, back then I had no idea where to start. I had no idea how to build anything out of paper. I just started building stuff. So this was one of the very first paper projects I ever started to work on. And this was supposed to be a Glock 17 barrel. And back then, I thought this project was great. I worked on it every single day. I drew pictures and diagrams until I understood as much as I could. Getting this far took a really long time and shortly after finishing this entire component, I realized everything was pretty much completely off. And that made me kind of frustrated, so I decided to start off with something a little bit smaller. So I made this, and I thought this was the coolest thing ever. I don't know where the trigger group is, I'm sure it's somewhere in that box. But this is actually the first project I designed a blueprint for first, and then I built it using that blueprint. You can see the side plate comes off just like this, and there's the barrel component. You can see everything looks very sloppy. I had no idea how to polish paper or make it smooth, and I remember this piece right here took forever to make. I didn't have a very efficient way of cutting the shapes out and then stacking them up. I cut one out and then glued it onto another piece and then cut around it. And then I took that entire thing and put it on another piece and cut around it, which made things start to widen toward the bottom, which meant this part over here was smaller than this part over here. So I had to sort of cut it down and sand it and it just took forever. And I actually filmed some videos on this project back then, back when I was about 14 years old. And you can see this is before I ever painted this project, which was about five years ago. I'm not gonna play the audio because hearing my voice from back then kinda makes me cringe. So that's that. And for the next old project I'm going to show you guys, I'm sure you will recognize very quickly what I was trying to build. Yes, this was supposed to be a paper mini dual action hidden blade. So back then I did what a lot of people tend to do when they first start paper crafting, which is use another material that is faster than working with paper. And yeah, you can do that as long as you glue everything together properly. But I didn't glue everything together properly. You know, over time, this entire thing just completely bent. And I was like, what? No, I spent like a week on this, you know, I can't bend and it just bent, you know, even though the flat paper base was underneath the textbook for a couple of days, once I added the wood onto it, it just completely bent. I mean, look at this. It's completely warped. It's like a skateboard or something, you know? So I decided to make another one and this pretty much did the exact same thing. A little bit less, but the same thing. Oh, and here's the blade part too. Yeah, the entire thing looks really bad. You know, it was just a prototype. It wasn't supposed to look really good, but it just looks bad. But you know, you gotta start somewhere with everything you wanna do. And you know, you learn from your mistakes. For example, I learned to not take shortcuts like this because what should take less time actually ends up taking more time because you just end up remaking the entire thing. So these projects, even though they're not very good and they are extremely warped and pretty ugly, I must say, I keep them because they remind me to always try my best and improve what I'm doing. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is only a few of the very first projects I ever created out of paper. So if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comment section below. 
And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you would like to see all the latest updates, and I will see you guys in the next video.